In this session, we want to take a quick look at aligning and distributing objects in CorelDRAW. You know, when we're laying out designs, we might have a couple of different objects or elements, and we want to distribute them or align them. And the way I align and distribute in Corel is most of my alignment I do with keyboard shortcuts. I'm going to create a rectangle here, and we'll fill this with a yellow. I'm going to go back to my pick tool, and I'll just go ahead and duplicate this three times. As you can see right there, and we'll go ahead and zoom in. And we'll take a look at distribution and aligning. Take a look at this object here. We'll move this here, and we'll move this here. Go ahead, lasso, and select everything, and I'll hit my E key, and that'll align everything horizontally. If I hit my C key, that'll align everything to center. Now it's going to align based on the last object selected. If I hold, click here, hold down Shift click here, hold down shift, click here, hold down shift, hit the C key, it aligns to the last object that you have selected. I'm going to go ahead and rotate this and change it from being sideways to being vertical. And then I'm going to go ahead and select these two objects here and I'm going to hit the T key and you'll see that everything will align to the top, but since I selected this object last, everything's going to align to the top of that object. If I select this object, this object, and then this object, and hit the B key for bottom, it's all going to align to the bottom. I selected this object last, so it's going to align to that object. If I hit the C key, everything's going to align to the center of that object. Let's hit Control Z and go back, and let's look at distribution. If I want to get an, an even amount of space between my objects, I can lasso everything, and I can go here to my arrange align and distribute right here. And I can go to the distribute tab and I can click on spacing by edges or spacing to center or spacing to top or spacing to bottom. Click apply and you can see that now my objects have been distributed. I can do the same thing when I'm dealing with horizontal objects. I'm going to go ahead and rotate these so that they're horizontal we'll change this and we can do the same thing here let's change the size of this object just to see how this works if I go with distribution we'll hold down shift and shift by spacing and click apply we need an equal amount of space if I go by center and click apply you can see how that changes the distribution so we want to be aware of this aligning and distributing because we want to be able to use it when we're doing design work making sure that our text and our graphics are all aligned correctly and straight. Go ahead and wrap here and we'll continue in our next session.